which I tell you about some books I have recently read. I will not be speaking in this voice, but for now I'm doing it. Let's check out the video! <laughs> Honestly, I'm sorry about that. I just had to. I had to. Okay, so... Welcome to my channel. Um, so recently I've been doing some like reading vlogs and stuff, but I have also read books in which I have not featured in a reading vlog. So I thought I'd just do some like recent reads as well where I just kind of chat through some books I've read. So I've got three books here. Um, which I have uh, very recently read. So, let's start off with the first one, which is The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. And this is book number two in the Mistborn era. So, whew, a very early book. So, if you don't know what the Mistborn book series is, basically... So in the first book, The Final Empire, the one before this, we mostly follow Vin uh, and her like journey, discovering who she is and like how to use her powers and stuff like that. We follow a bunch of characters. It's a very multiple POV kind of a deal, this, this series. Uh, basically, it's the same in this one. Well... We don't follow Vin's journey discovering herself, but we follow the after effects of the final empire. Um, it's very hard to say <laughs> what this book is about without spoiling in the first book, because basically you really need to read the first book, which, by the way, chef's kiss, read said book. Um, this book went a lot slower for me, um, however, once I got, like, back into it, because, when did I finish? I think I finished The Final Empire in October of last year, I want to say, and I started this on New Year's Eve, um, I only read, like, 75 pages or so on that day um and it's a chunky chunky book uh i'm really really enjoying this series honestly uh i have the third book which i've not yet started but i'm very excited to read it. i kind of want to you know finish up some books i'm in the middle of before i start it i'm gonna see how long I can last before I start it because I really want to read that book and that will be like the end of era one um and then I think I I am supposed to read era two and then I don't know I don't know the order I have a list somewhere of like the order of Brandon Sanderson books but honestly there's a lot I really enjoy this book. Um, I don't remember if it was this one or the third one, which is supposed to, like, break me in the end. This didn't break me in the end. Um, it was... I want to say... I haven't read enough Brandon Sanderson book, but I want to say it was, like, the classic Brandon Sanderson twist in the end. Yeah, that's what I want to call it. Um, obviously, I've not read enough Brandon Sanderson to actually make such a statement. But, you know, I'm just going to go with it. And then I also finished up a series. So I read book number three, uh, which is The Burning Kingdoms by Sally Green. The first book being The Smoke Thieves and the second book being The Demon World. Basically, this series is... Oh, there's so many characters. I had a hard time getting into it because there's so many characters in so many different places. However, I will say, let's be fine. So they will have like the uh, the name of the character and like where said character is. So that kind of makes it a lot easier to um, keep track of everyone because they move around and sometimes they're together and sometimes they're not, but it's fine. Um, so basically there's loads of different characters, there's some who um, 
collect demon smoke was is a whole thing because they kill demons to get and then some smoke comes out of said demons and this smoke when inhaled by people um gives certain abilities um also very much dependent on what age the inhaler is um so that's weird uh we have political marriages which we go back and forth there's like a triangle drama going on there's there's so much happening and this is the conclusion to all this and I want to say I really enjoyed the conclusion uh, it was one where not maybe not every character like does what you want him to however you get a conclusion to all the things that's going on and you kind of get not exactly a happily ever after kind of deal but a this is where the characters are now this these are the choices they've made and this is kind of what the future might look like i would maybe question if we need three books uh but also um it's, it's an easy to read series, although I will say I did have a hard time getting into it, but that could also be because multiple character POVs mess with my head and it's not usually the easiest, which um, considering that's usually the deal with fantasy books and I'm very much probably, a, a, yeah, I read a lot of fantasy books. <laughs> Um, so that's not always the greatest. I'm happy to have finished this series. Now, for the last book. So this is very much an ongoing series. I have no idea how many books there's going to be. I kind of thought this was going to be the, like the last book, that it was going to be a duology. Um, no, <laughs> it is not. So it is A Blood Mark by Tracy Dion and it is the second book in the Legendborn cycle, Legendborn being the very first book. So we follow Brie and Brie's mum has died in an accident and Brie kind of wants to like get away and start afresh and things like that. She also kind of um, gets into a like is a college program I want to say for like bright students. So she's in high school but she kind of gets into this I want to say it's a college program. It could be university. I'm not too sure about the different kind of schooling also i don't remember if it's college or university never mind anyway she's brilliant and kind of gets into this uh with her best friend as well so she's not alone um but once she's at this campus she starts to like discover some mysterious things there's some mysterious things are happening around her and she's finding out more about her past or like her mother's past more like um yeah she kind of gets sucked into a very magical world yeah um and it's this authorian legend kind of deal but there's also a different magic system um so there's like two different kinds of magic systems going on and brie is very much smack in the middle of these two i loved that first book i loved legendborn i was very much hooked and um yeah that sucked me in completely um so when this came out and the fact that it had sprayed edges i was like yeah i'm i'm getting this i was gonna get it this bite sprayed edges but i mean this yeah i would have bought it had i not already read legendborn or and wanted to read this i would have bought it just for this and then i would have gotten legendborn let's just let's be honest um so many things happen in this book oh my goodness that's oh it broke me a bit it definitely broke me a bit um and 
by the end of it, not really realizing, because I don't really pay attention to, I mean, it did say legible cycle. Do I pay attention to that? No. So by the end of it, I'm like, this can't be the end. No, it was not. I have no idea how many books there are going to be, but I want more and I want more now. I want more like yesterday. I need this next book in my hands right now. <laughs> I'm not joking. If you haven't read this series, do it. Do it. Do it now. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so hopefully that was um, kind of summarized what the books slash series is about and my thoughts on them. I very much enjoyed all of them. Um, definitely, definitely. I think Bloodmarked was definitely my favorite out of these three and then probably Brandy Sandy and um, Smoke Themes last but very much enjoyed myself. <laughs> there's very there's a size difference to these. Wow. So yeah. So do tell me what you have been reading in the comments down below and I shall see you all next time. Take care. Bye bye.